If you want to be remembered, it's simple. Shoot a president. But if you prefer to have what I call a legacy, you leave the world a better place than you found it. It's been a good nine months since we left the Philippines and I still don't really know how I feel about it. I've had dead ass tired days and days where I learned a new way to be happy. But a constant anxiety I had was struggling to find my purpose, I guess. Or that's what I thought. Many things have been going through my head. Things about what lies in the future and what doesn't. It's been more overthinking than being rational and it's been keeping me up more than I wanted to be. But all it took was to ask one question to myself. Because I felt lost, I asked, where am I trying to go? What do I see ahead of me? And in the midst of all the mist, I decided to make something great for myself and the people I know. So my family and I decided to go to Paris to experience something new and beautiful. And with a short film, I knew this would be the perfect opportunity to take you all with me. So here we are, in a city of lights, trying to make dreams come true. When I think of Paris, I think of dreams. My dad told us while we were in the apartment in Chessy. It hasn't sunk in yet, <laughs> but we are in Paris. The city so many people in the world dream to be in right now. So what did it mean being up close with such heritage? How did one vacation and still so many different revelations. Well, Paris is just such a diverse city. Not only did I see the people of many colors, but I saw people with different reasons to be there. Some people were there for work, some people for vacation, some were there to find some love. Some people just wanted to take another item off their bucket list. No matter what it was, everyone had their reasons. We struggle a lot finding a reason to be. It gets a little easier with inspiration because it gives us something to reach out for, something to dream for. Breathtaking by the city, I thought of my reason or what I want to do. Profession and business aside, I wanted to leave a legacy. People have all kinds of dreams. Some people wish to be like their fathers who are pilots flying around the world. Some dream to raise a family in the best way they can. Some aspire to educate people through perhaps being some sort of freelance mass communication and media educator or maybe a human rights lawyer. Other people just dream of achieving happiness and greatness. And these people know they can achieve what they want to because they have an inspiration. Perhaps their parents for being the best example or their support through everything. And the last thing these people want to do is to disappoint the people who believe in them since the very beginning. I don't know. I'm the type of person that's worst fear is to be forgotten. So I want to leave a legacy. A legacy that will be remembered. Something that could change someone's life. Something that people will remember me by. Then again, there are all types of legacies. Like Greg wants the world to remember that comparing will always be inevitable no matter what, and so life is too short to be sad, and 
don't let anything stop you to whatever you want to achieve because the world is our playground my dad wishes a simple legacy of knowing that his kids are gonna be okay and that they're happy so in search of purpose this is where I found myself in the place of hearts and the center of greatness experiencing this all because of wanderlust and despite all the searching and contemplating I still don't know exactly what I want to leave behind and in this search of purpose I learned one thing for sure and it's that every person lives for the other and the other for themselves I still haven't decided exactly who or what I want to live for do I live for myself do I live for my family do I live for the world and to be honest, for the nth time, and for all the questions I asked in the beginning, the answer is I don't know. Does that make us dumb? No. Just unwise for now. So I'll keep searching and longing and hoping and dreaming that when I walk off this earth, I leave something more than just my remains. That means leaving the world a better place than I found it. Don't give in just yet, you're almost there now. You're almost there now.